last paragraph on the second page. It is emerging that this whole episode appears to dent our image in many expatriate and diplomatic circles. I do hope that salvaging measures will be employed in the immediacy to save what is left of our image. So we have a little image as a country. So what was your response? These are very strong words to use, coming from an honorable member of parliament who has been in government and occupied the position of a deputy minister. I am unable to determine the motive of the author of this statement. I'm unable to determine his motive or objective or what was going through his mind in penning these words. But let me just state, just for the record, that if the honorable member is suggesting that he has no knowledge of any such previous exercise where an events management company is organizing an event and mobilizing sponsorship, which is voluntary contribution towards covering the expenses for organizing that event, whether he has no knowledge of such an exercise previously. Because if indeed he has, what is the basis for coming to this conclusion? My position would surely have been different if this particular fundraising concept, I don't even need to, to be reading this to this uh, honorable uh, committee. An event or company working together with, with, with the government come to a common objective understanding that they are co-organizing an event for a certain purpose. And you are talking about other matters that are not the subject of our common understanding, which was reflected by the MOU. I do not understand this. Thank you.